Okay. Oh, we're starting a little bit early. We got six likes already. That's that's pretty good. So thanks to you guys. Um, can you guys hear the my me and the music? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna in this stream. We're gonna try to terraform the sun. So let's open up a new simulation here. We're gonna go add and let's just throw the sun in here. <laughs> okay, so um, this is gonna be hard to do, I think. So the sun is definitely gonna be way too massive for a habitable planet. Um, so we're gonna add and then we're gonna launch I think if we launch some, okay, I'm gonna launch Jupiter, Jupiter into it, but I'm gonna like do it at an angle so it shoots off the fragments. H upper case says, I love your channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. So, okay, that went right into it. That's not what we wanted to do. Um, I'm gonna pause it and shoot it like this. And then make it bigger. Cause we want to shoot off a lot of mass here and then go to motion and turn the speed up too so if we slow down time we're gonna see how this goes um it looked like it kind of worked for a second let's see what's a good way to get mass off of this oh it's moving now so it's doing something Okay, let's try that again, but make it even bigger. So let's do... Okay, well I just made a star, so we don't want that. Go back. Okay, so that's still not a star. And the speed. Half of the speed of light? This has got to do something. Um, wait, is it going into the... Velocity. So it looks like it's actually going to miss, because the arrow here we can see. Uh, velocity... Okay, so we need to turn this a tiny bit over here so it goes... Okay, well that's gonna miss. This is this is not working well. Like this maybe. This is oh boy, oh boy. Right here. Nope. We have to like look at it so we can change where the arrow's going. Like there. No more over here. Okay, this is not working. Let's retry this one. So here's the sun. Ah. So I do have a couple of theories of once I get some mass off it, how I can terraform it. But we have to get some mass off first. Okay, well, that's gonna miss. So, if we slow down time some more. Speed it up, but then also go to here and move it down. So it'll graze the surface here. That's getting close. Yeah, like that. Okay, then we unpause. And it's going almost two times the speed of light. So this should, this has got to rip some of the mass off. Or it's going to get sucked in again. Okay, it did shoot some off, but let's see, compare this to... So if we look at the, oh, it's working, look. We only have 70% of the sun's mass now instead of um, 
hundred percent. So this is working. So we just have to do that again a few times until we can get it lower. So go back to speed, make it 2C, and then once it gets closer we'll have to aim it again. right there okay and I'll pause there <laughs> universe sandbox in VR that is a good idea we might be doing that eventually so it's shooting off a bunch of fragments so the Sun definitely is losing mass if I can select it yeah we're only at 63% so this might go quicker than I thought it would um, there, I also want to cool it down, so I was wondering if we could go into the laser and then use the cold laser. And, I mean, it is going colder. We're, we're at really slow time, so let's speed this up. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What did we do? Did we kill the sun? Uh-oh. Is there something in there still? Because if there is, we can we can save this. Where'd it go? Uh, did we kill it? Okay, we need to redo that, I guess, because it's gone. If we hit home, it's going to focus on the largest body, but it doesn't seem that there is one. So we're going to have to restart. <laughs> Can you do the next dream, make a small star in a small system? That's, uh, that's a good idea. We might end up doing that. Okay, so what if I just try cooling it down first instead of throwing stuff at it? So go to the magic cold laser. And then do, let's open the settings here while we do it so we can watch the temperature. Laser. We're going to need the power to be, here, lock it at the radius of half a sun so it's not going to be too big. I wonder how if this is going to work at all. Hmm. Because I'm going very, very cold here. That doesn't seem to affect it. Yeah, that's not working. It is on cold. So let's just try making it smaller and then maybe it'll cool down once it's no longer a star. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to try to do it in one. I think we were launching them too fast. So if we take Jupiter and then instead of doing faster than the speed of light, let's just do like half the speed of light. Or not. Yeah, we need it on C. Okay. Oh, I unpaused it and it just went straight into it. And it's moving away from me. So let's just zero the velocity again. So it's not moving away. But it really didn't do anything. It didn't add or remove mass. It made it slightly bigger. Launch rocky stuff, maybe, though. That's a good idea, so we don't add any more hydrogen. Let's launch... Yeah, let's launch Earth, because this has water in it, too. Okay. And we're going to make it big. Let's do a Jupiter... Uh, Earth the size of Jupiter, which 
you can see it's not very good for earth but it's okay um so it's got this curved movement right now so we need to change and turn the speed up probably about there is that hitting it's getting close so we just need to move this over a tiny bit okay now that's gonna come in contact so let's slow down time a whole lot okay so here comes earth a massive earth the size of Jupiter trying to graze off the Sun see what happens here okay so it looked like it did the same thing and shot a bunch off but this time instead of just immediately going again I'm gonna speed up the time to make sure that it doesn't completely kill the Sun again Oh, need to focus on it here. Okay, so we look over here, we can see it is cooling down and it did um, remove some of the mass. So let's see what happens over a long period. Does it turn back? Yeah, so it looks like that worked. So let's do that again, but I might make the here, let's zero the velocity because it's shooting away again and that's annoying okay make vlogs bro <laughs> maybe one day when I'm more famous <laughs> I don't think anyone would watch it right now um okay let's do another earth I think Let's go close so we don't have to aim it too much. Okay, well, it just ate that. That wasn't good. Oh, it's still... I need to deposit. Okay, here we go. So we might have just given it back all the mass that we took off it. No, it's still good. So let's try to make this three Jupiters. Which is a very big Earth. And for motion, let's do, what did we do last time? It was like 0.3C, so let's try 0.5C and see how this is gonna affect it. Go back to slow time. If we turn that on, it should help with collisions. Okay, we don't want it to go into it like that. We want it to graze, which we can't really. Okay, so it's getting really close right here. So if we just go like that, that should get what we want. Go back to the sun. And yeah, 83% of the sun now, instead of the 95 So this might work Turn the speed back down on the Sun and speed up time now To make sure that it doesn't disintegrate again And it doesn't Okay. Okay, okay. So it looks a lot more white now. Or bluish even. Versus the the sun. The sun is actually white, but um, from the earth it looks yellow. Okay. So let's do a couple more of those. Let's try two at a time. Actually... I feel like we're going to end up ruining it again, so I'm just going to go slow and steady with this. Five Jupiters is what we did, and that worked. And for motion, we did 0.5C. I think it was mostly a speed thing, so I'm actually going to try to do this at 10 Jupiters. Okay, that turned into a gas giant, but that's okay. We'll just do it anyway. 
um, cause it's got barely any hydrogen on it. So for speed, we're going to want 0.5 C. Change the time back to slow. And then it looks like it already going to graze pretty well. Let's adjust it a tiny bit. We want, oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, we can watch this hit. Okay. Okay, so it shot off some. Let's see if that helped. That didn't do as much as the other one did. I feel like it went too much into it. So maybe it's better if we do some smaller things and shoot them really fast. Um, I'm going to do just the earth and not make it bigger. But launch it very quickly. Uh, we'll do like 99% of the speed of light and see what that does. I'm looking for speed. Okay, that's not going the right way at all. It's going to be too hard to aim, isn't it? So from here, it's not. So if we go aim it a little bit more. See, it like goes straight in or, oh, I just selected a fragment. Okay, we're gonna have to, we could just move uh, the earth really close so it, hits the edge like we want it to. Like that. Okay, we'll see how that works. That looks like it just ate it and nothing else happened to it. Did it affect the mass? Oh, I guess we're really slow, so we're gonna have to speed up time and see what happens to it now. Oh, okay. So that definitely shot some stuff off of it. If I can select the sun. Zoom out, maybe. There we go. Oh, it's dropping mass. It's dropping mass. Okay, where is it? This is what we wanted. Where did it go? Here we go. So it's shooting off all this stuff. I think it is spinning too fast. Or it's not dropping mass anymore, so. Wait, but it's still losing radius. So actually what I'm going to do is save the object right now. So let's name it small sun and then let's open a new simulation and then put it back in like that. So let's find a small sun right here. Okay, so it's only 53% of the earth or of the sun's mass. Uh, okay. This music is amazed. Thank you. Oh, why are you not changing the settings on the sun? Because uh, I'm that would be too easy if I, because I could just go in and change it to make it exactly like Earth. So the challenge is to try to make it um, habitable without trying to change the least amount of settings as possible. And so this is working. Um, if I unpause, is it still going to lose mass? The temperature is cooling down, so let's just give it a second to cool down. You can see it's cooling down here, and it'll turn more white, I think. Yeah. And back to yellow. Okay. So, just launching the earth into it did a lot, so let's do that again. And then we made it 99% of the speed of light. Speed. OK. 
Okay, set this to real time so it doesn't go too fast. Maybe even slower. Am I reading the wrong chat? I don't see comments he's reading. Um, maybe they're not loading for you, that's weird. Was that gonna perfectly graze it like we wanted it to? Cause that never happens. Yeah, it's going to. So it might spin it pretty quickly. So let's watch this happen. Oh, okay. I guess I ate it and then we're gonna speed up time to see if this, yeah. It's ejecting mass again. Perfect. Oh, it stopped already. So it looked like it didn't do as much this time. The problem is this shoots out um, a lot of fragments. Uranus stinks, by the way. Thanks. Oh. Okay. Let's try that again, just right here. Go to speed. I'm worried that if I go to one light speed, it will, um, it'll just destroy the sun again. So we launched another one in. It went down to 50% mass. How's that like compared to Jupiter's mass? 524 Jupiter still, so that's still way too massive. So speed it up a lot, see if we get some of these fragments to clear. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Wait for it to turn back yellow before we keep going. So I know that if we just turn the mass down enough, it'll just turn into a gas giant. So my goal is to try to get it there without changing the settings. So let's try another one of those, I think. Maybe we'll do it a little bigger. Cause it's not, I feel like it's, sometimes it works well and sometimes it doesn't. Um. I don't know, maybe five Earths. And then for speed, we'll do 99% of the speed of light again. So is that, that looks like it's gonna, oh, it was going way too fast, but we didn't see that collision. But if we speed up time, oh, it's working. See, it, so it shoots off. That one only went down 0.5%. We might need a bigger collision here. Set this motion back to zero to stop it from running away. Perfect. I wonder if there's a more efficient way to get the mass off of this. Um, maybe the laser will, cause maybe I can burn it off. So let's go to tools and try the laser. Oh, I remember I tried this a while ago and yeah, lasers don't work on the stars. So, what's a good way to get the mass off of this? I mean, we could keep going with this. Um, what if we try something a little bigger? Jupiter. I'll play Roblox while I watch the stream? Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll do 0.5c for this. Set this a second. Perfect graze, I think. Oh, that hit it. I think maybe we need to graze it a little bit more. Yeah, that didn't take off any mass. But we need to hit it more of an angle. So like it barely hits the side, so let's speed this up till it 
Close back down. Perfect. Launch. Let's get really close to it. So it's already like touching it. And make it, let's do, okay, this is gonna be risky, but we're gonna try it because we're not making very much progress right now. Uh, no, I meant to do this on C. Okay, so 99% the speed of light. Um, I might move it a little bit out so it hits. It's hard to tell what direction it's going. Yeah, turn on trail instead. Will that help us at all? Not really. Well, we'll see how that works. Speed up time now here. It's definitely shooting some stuff off. And it looks like it's shrinking. Barely. Oh my goodness. Okay, set motion back to zero. Okay, what if I just try to like... Uh, let me think. What's a good way to do this? We shoot... What if we shoot something to try to break it open? So like, um, I'm worried it's gonna like supernova if I try this. But what are we? What else are we gonna do? Speed. Let's do it. Speed of light. Cool down the sun with lasers again. Uh, it does. The lasers don't work on the star. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Well, that went. Let's see. Okay, that looks like it's working. Let's do. Launch one at light speed, but make it bigger because it seems to be working Maybe 10 Jupiters Go to speed and do one light speed And then when it gets close, I want to try to move it to the edge. Oh, okay. Well, it hit already. So it looks like it went up a little bit, but maybe that'll shoot some off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely working. Okay, 35%. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. So I want to get rid of all these fragments again, so I'm going to save this one again. So sun, smaller, that was not very good spelling. So we can just clear out the simulation. Uh, you can lock the position of the sun. That's, let's, how do you do that? I have not done that, but that would be helpful. Okay, where is it? This one's the one we were just working on. 35% of the sun's mass. Let's wait for it to cool down. Um, let's see if we can figure out how to lock it. Let's tidally lock. Position lock. Here we go. Thank you for that. That's going to be helpful. Now, here, let's wait for it to cool down. Some more. Perfect. So just launching a Jupiter into it shoots off a lot of mass. 
I have to be careful though when we get to smaller masses so I don't actually accidentally uh, destroy it again. That'd be bad. Five Jupiters. Um, speed. The light speed and do 0.5. Also, you can remove all fragments in the tools panel. Oh, let's see. Mm, maybe it's in. I don't see it. Settings. Is there a system? Settings. It's all right. They they uh well dissipate after a while so it should be okay I do want to try to move this a little bit over so it's like this so it looks like it goes into the Sun and it does give it some mass but then if we speed it up we'll see that it's actually losing mass okay 27.9 tools and click that arrow to expand it oh here we go um, uh, first time, no. Delete all fragments. Oh, that works. Perfect. All right. Can we turn them off completely? Collisions. I don't see it. That's okay. We can just delete them. Um, so let's try that again. So this is, seems to be the best option we have right now. Speed. Oh, okay. Well, that hit not where I wanted it to, but this should be okay. 24, 23. Radius is shrinking very quickly. It looks like it's getting more dense. Try it again. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I wonder if we make this a giant ball of iron instead of Jupiter. That does anything. Oh, did I miss? No, I hit it. Well, where did it go? There we go. That didn't do what I wanted it to. Let's get really close like this and then launch it's paused right now so this should be okay move this back because so, it's gonna go like this and we can make this mass maybe two because we this is getting pretty similar in size here and for motion, we're gonna change speed. Let's do half light speed for this one. And we'll watch, see what happens here. Okay, got bigger. Check the mass, 24%. Oh no, we killed it, didn't we? Okay, while it's dying though, I'm gonna try to save it. Uh, so I wonder what's gonna happen if I try to add that saved object back in Where'd it go? Yeah, I can't add it. Oh boy. I Mean it says I'm adding them, but it's really not What's this we got? Oh, this is the Jupiter that did miss Ugh So let's pull up the one we just saved. 
we can start on that one. Um, maybe we spin it the other way, so we don't completely kill it. <laughs> you did not listen. Curse you, stream delay. <laughs> oh boy. You're right, it was too hot. We're gonna wait for it to cool down from now on. Merry Christmas. Yeah, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. That's crazy. Coming very fast this year. Okay, Jupiter, we're gonna launch it so it hits going in the opposite direction of the spin, so it spins it the other way. Um, I mean, like that. Temperature doesn't matter, it was the rotation that killed it. That could be true, so we're gonna try to not spin it too fast. Speed, let's do half light speed and make it a little bit bigger, I think. Okay, and then we'll make this see that and then speed up time. Oh, we killed it again. Okay, so that's too much. So let's go back with our one we just did. So we're getting there, but it's too much right now. Use 51 B peg, it's good for mass. Is that a planet? 51. B peg in all objects. Peg B, this one. Okay, we can use this one. It's like half the mass of Jupiter, but we can use it. Let's wait for this to cool down a little bit before we launch that into it. Mario. Oh, it's a me, Mario. Oh boy. Oh, what did we just do? Is it orbiting? Okay, well that hit it. Okay, 31%. Let's do... Okay, wait, we need to lock the motion again. Wait for it to cool down. And it's spinning. Which way is it spinning? Like that, so now we shoot the top this this might be a better way of doing it not the fragment I want the Sun 30% what was it before I can't remember is this working um, not really we might need to go a little bit faster Speed. I wish I could donate to you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't care too much for donations. I'm just glad that I have some people here watching. Um, let's do 2C. Point 2C. Why are you going the other way? Um, that's not what you're supposed to do. Okay, let's just delete you. I'm I don't know what happened there. Launch. Speed. Okay, now it's going the right way. Not addicted 7098 is back and Bajosh Fantastic World. Hello. That's a good hit, I think. That shot off some. 
Yeah, 29. Let's see if it goes down some more. No. Is the position locked? Feed. Um, oh, that's not what I meant to type there. I mean, it says it has motion. Make a bunch of planets made of iron, like all of them iron, and the sun will die from lack of energy of fusion. Okay, we'll try that. So let's try launching a planet full of iron at it. So pull up. Let's just do Jupiter, but then make Jupiter an iron planet. Like this. Motion, set it to... Where's speed? 0.5 light speed, I guess. Okay, we'll see how this works. It went into it. Um, speed up time and see if that worked. No. Hmm. So it was the mass was coming off pretty quickly at the beginning. Um, I'm just gonna launch a bunch of Jupiters at it and see if how that affects it in terms of mass. 29. So that's actually making it go up. Oh boy. Um, we're gonna need them to launch faster. So if we launch a Jupiter here, we're gonna need the speed a lot faster. That's not where I launched you at all. Speed. Why does it go that way? Change the velocity arrow. into the sun. There we go. Maybe the cooling laser will work now. Um, oh boy, that added more mass. Okay. Um, I don't think the cooling laser will work. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on stars at all, but we can try it really quick. Let's just make it like undeniably powerful. I mean, the temperature is dropping, but that's just from the star cooling down, I think. So, yeah, the cooling laser still doesn't work on it. But, let's think, hmm, do you think if I just speed up time like very, very, very long, it'll just like supernova itself and we can use what's left? I don't think so. Yeah, we're at uh, like so long. Yeah, so it's definitely not going to die itself. It's only speeding up now. Uh, 
Uh, I think I broke the timer. Now it's stuck at zero seconds per second. So let's reload the simulation. It's on three. Because it's like a gajillion years in the future. It's on three. So here's our current star. And 30% Earth's mass. Radius is dropping somehow. Um, try making the star pure iron. Uh, we're, we can't, yeah, we're not supposed to edit these. I mean, I'm getting close to because none of this seems to be working. So let's try. Okay, we'll launch this planet, but we'll make it all iron. Turn the speed. Let's do a light, uh, light speed. See if that affected it a little bit. It went down a little bit in mass. Let's lock it. Okay. So let's just do that again. So, oh. Hmm. Bro thinks he's coming up with ideas himself because of stream delay. <laughs> no, I'm reading your comments. What do you mean? Can you try playing Solar Smash sometime? That would be a fun game to play. So we'll have to see on that. We'll do, okay. Iron Planet, Speed of Light. Boom. So this is very slowly working. Um, this is this is getting long just on this. So I think I'm gonna just drop the um, drop the mass until for as low as we need it because this is taking too long. But we're gonna try to do everything else without adjusting this. So let's just say we just did this over and over until it dropped mass, what we needed it to be. Let's speed up time so we can get the temperature lower. Okay. And it just keep going. We're dropping more mass. Until okay, this is what we wanted. Get it to a gas giant right here. Hi Owen Berta and Space Cool Boy. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so we got um the sun's a gas giant now. So now we can use the cool laser to Cool this down. Let's open up the properties here. Okay, average temperature is right there, 2500 Celsius. And might need this to be a little more powerful. Okay, that's working, that's cooling down. Okay, so this is slowly working, but it is working. Um, the plant is trying to heat up itself, so we need this to be very powerful. Oh, this is because this needs to be... Here we go. Okay, now the radius is locked. Oh, okay, so that's cooling it down now. This is definitely working. Perfect. It looks like it's cooling down and then immediately heating back up. Why is it doing that? doesn't want to cool down it looks like 
I wonder if it's still a little bit too massive, so let's try turning this down a little bit more. Okay, now let's try it. How cold do we need this to be? How is this making it go hotter? What is wrong with this object? Let's check out okay so here's what I'm thinking we do it's 99.7% hydrogen so I'm gonna throw some iron planets into it to try to get it higher so then we can maybe burn off the hydrogen with the laser so I'm just gonna zero the velocity again so it's not all over the place um yeah Christmas Eve's tomorrow it's the spin that's making it hotter? That's probably true. Okay. Um, let's see which direction it's spinning and let's try to counteract it. Maybe a little faster than that. So if it's spinning like that, let's shoot something towards the bottom of it. Something full of, let's just shoot earth into it, I think. We'll shoot a couple. Uh, looks like they're gonna just hit. We need to like go closer. Oh, well, there goes another one. Down here. Shoot them more. You can see the sun or the earth start to turn into gas giants, it looks like, because of the hydrogen that's coming off it. Just gonna throw all of the earth in right now. A few more. Okay, so let's see how that looks in the settings here. So that added a little bit more. Um, add a star forward to for it to orbit so that it doesn't get too frozen. Um, well, it seems like they can't imagine anymore. That's true. They're all dead now. Um, I'm going to try to burn off the... the hydrogen layer with the laser. Um... Is it still rotating too fast to cool down? It might need a big thing thrown at it to rotate it. So let's throw a big earth right here. Let's make it 10 earth size, but then also turn the speed up a little bit. Speed is right here. make this a lot slower um, probably move it down a little bit to get that rotation the way we want it okay is that colliding no it's not right there. okay this should help with the rotation spin it the other way Okay. Oh, well it did spin it. Um, maybe too much now. So counteract that, shoot some up here. Oh, that looks like it's working. You shoot them up here then they like drop in. <laughs> I think it needs more speed to be able to do anything. Five Earths, and then for motion... Where's the speed? 
Um, do idea, make Jupiter a star in the system and see what unfolds. All right, we might do that after we can get this thing situated here. Maybe. How, what's the mass on this thing like? 11 Jupiters, so we're safe to launch a Jupiter into it like this. Oh, oh, that definitely slowed down the rotation. So let's do that one more time, I think. So we can get a nice even rotation. Maybe a little bit slower. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that nice rotation here. Okay, so now we should be able to... Let's delete the fragments really quick. Delete all fragments. And then this should be able to cool down now. And not die. Before we go any further though, I'm going to save this as gas sun. So if we need to revert back to this, we can. Let's use the cold laser on it now. Cold laser. Let's go to surface and watch it. Seems like it's being heated up. Okay, I'm gonna try to burn off the atmosphere or the hydrogen layer now. So we're just gonna need it to be very hot. Okay, well that killed it. Um, <laughs> revert back good thing we saved it imagine the scene you're an earthling and get sent by a chip in space to be sent into the sunford experiment <laughs> pull it up here the music is nice not gonna lie thank you it's uh it's a video on youtube it's just playing in the background where is it gas sun right here oh i placed it already very calming despite the chaos. Yeah, that's that's my goal. It's been alive. The sun has existed for 0 0.05 mega years, which is 57,000 years. I feel like it was there longer, but oh, I think we killed that one. Um, let's try to burn it off now. Uh, let's not make the laser as hot as we just barely did. But we are going to need it to be hotter. What's their composition like right now? Uh, make a planet half of the size of the planet and make it filled with iron so that might change the composition. That's true. Let's do that before we try to burn everything off. So let's actually pause and then launch the sun into it like this, but then we'll change this one to be half the size and make it be all iron like that. Is it launching into it or are they just chilling? Okay, there we go. Wait for that one to get into it too. Okay, uh, that added a little bit more, so that should be good. Um, try to burn off the, here, let's do auto, but then change it ourselves. So let's speed up time a lot so we can see how this is gonna change over time. Total power. So that makes it go of one degree. This doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, our radius, we need to make this. Let's do one Jupiter 
and then lock it so it doesn't get too out of hand here. How come the minimum and the maximum temperatures are the same? This is strange to me. We might have like glitched the object and anytime we let off. So that's heating it up. So it's starting to heat up now. Um, we're trying to get this hydrogen thing to go down. That looks like it's getting close. Not quite yet. Little more. More. Oh, that's wait, that just burned off iron and silicate and is leaving only hydrogen. Why is it doing that? Look, it's making the iron go down. Why is it doing that? When I did this with Jupiter, it made the hydrogen go off, not the iron. Uh, maybe we need... Here, let's slow down time, very slow. A planet, okay, let's launch the same planet and we're not even gonna change the mass, we're just gonna make it iron. To try to get some answers here. This object's like glitch, like look at this. Can we like nudge you into it? <laughs> How is this happening? This one's fully iron, and this one... It says they're flying into each other. But we're going... Oh, is it because... I know why. It's because the position's locked on this. Okay, position lock off. Now if we go back, this will... This should be better now. There we go. So this should add a bunch of iron into it. Or it's gonna go through it? What happened there? Is this... Uh... This is the one we made iron. Or wait, is it? Yeah, that's the one that we made. So this is the one we're trying to terraform. Uh, and it looks like it really didn't add that much. Universe Gaming just joined. Thanks for, thanks for coming to the stream. Uh, I've always wondered where the sun formed in the galaxy because I doubt it formed where we are in the galaxy. Also, I'm oddly scared because we are relatively close to an area of the galaxy where more comps and asterisks hit on average. That's very interesting. Well, thankfully, we have a planet that could stop us from being hit by a majority of asteroids and comets. That's true. Uh, Jupiter's gravity uh, deflects a lot, and then also the Earth's atmosphere will burn most things up. So it looks like we're shooting a lot of mass off here. See what happens here. Oh, oh, we got it to cool down. Let's go. This is what we wanted. So I'm gonna save this one. Blue sun, because it's kind of bluish. Um, just so we can start over in a new thing. 13 views. Yeah, we got 12 viewers right now. 104 people have joined at some point, which is pretty good. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, this is honestly a lot harder than I thought it would be. But we are doing okay now. Let's see, where did we put it? Blue sun right here. So here's what the sun looks like right now. Oh, it's still shooting stuff off. Yeah, boy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna shoot some more iron into it. Let's just do, let, what's our... Okay, I'm speeding up time so all these fragments can chill themselves out. 
Temperature is still dropping. And it will probably continue to drop because it's cold out here. Uh, keep using iron planets. True, but most that do come from the closest part to us from the asteroid belt where Jupiter doesn't have any effect. This is actually my first time watching Space Chip. Welcome to the stream. Keep using iron planets. Yeah, so we're going to launch. What's our radius here so we don't make it too big? About 10 Earth. So let's just launch Earth, but then make it 100% iron. And see how this affects it. These fragments, I can't deal with them. That is working. So if our iron is 1.6 mass of Earth, that means if we burned off all this hydrogen, it would be about the same size as Earth. So I'm going to try to do the... Um, the laser to burn it off now. Try here. Uh, it's like, it needs to be blue hot. So yeah, similar to that. Let's speed up time though. Trying to burn off the hydrogen. Oh, is that working? Almost, it looks like it's almost getting there. Hello, just a T-Rex. It looks like a donut. Um, what's your most favorite emoji? Oh, someone, Irish Gamer put the, the boar emoji. Oh, this is working. Let's make it a little bit more. Yes. <gasps> stop, stop. Oh my goodness. We did it. Okay, we got the sun as 100% iron. Okay, okay. So we got a planet now. Um, so what I'm going to do now is save this as sun... planet and then we're gonna put it with a star so let's just put let's just actually put the Sun in the middle and then put the planet Sun so now we can actually do the, the terraforming part um, we got it to where we want it to be <laughs> Sun is successfully not a Sun <laughs> Okay, so it looks very, very ugly. I'm gonna be honest, I do not like the way that looks. So let's, um, I wanna keep like the theme of sun going on it. Um, it's about half the size of Earth. I kinda want it a little bit bigger. So maybe shoot uh, the moon into it. Well, that completely missed a couple times. Uh, how long we've we been streaming? Let's see. An hour and ten minutes is how long it took us to get this far. This thing's insane. Let's. Okay, so we got a good planet here, and we can actually change the. Well, let's let's speed up time to get the temperature back down to a reasonable amount. Oh, something just happened. That was not good. What happened here? Um, okay, well that did not work. So we need to redo that. Sun, and then orbit. I think it was probably when I shot stuff into it, it uh, messed up the speed so it got out of orbit. 
Um, where did we put it? Sun, planet. Turn on habitable. Put it in the habitable area. Okay. So what we're actually going to do now, I think, is add the water and go to tools and then we're going to do the material thing here and we can just start to throw some water on it. It'll show up. Let's actually put an atmosphere first so it doesn't just freeze immediately. And there's no way to add an atmosphere except in the settings, so this is one of the things we'll have to add in here. Um, so if we see the atmosphere, there it is, it's got an atmosphere. Let's add some clouds to it too. Perfect. And actually change the surface color. Uh, everyone's talking about the music in chat. It's just, um, it's a video on YouTube. Here, I'll paste the link in the in the chat so you guys can check it out. I literally just like uh, looked up on YouTube Nintendo music and found a long video for the stream. So if you guys want to check it out, it's in the chat now. So for the visuals, let's change. Let's add city lights. Um, so they're only going to show up once it's habitable. So we're going to need. Base color, source, elevation is what we need to do. And now we can start to change the colors. Maybe, if it lets us. Why can we not change these colors? Uh, I mean, we could steal a map from a different planet. We might have to because it won't let me change these colors. I wonder if the, this object is like bugged because of the way we made it. Yeah, this is, can we, it's just stuck white. So yeah, we're gonna have to go to map. So let's pick one that would look good. Not Mars, cause that's too like recognizable. We could do Mercury or like, um, Or we might, if we change this, this might help. Maybe we can change the elevation now. No. Okay, so we're gonna have to do map. So if the sun were a planet, this one I think would be pretty similar to what it would look like. Um, but we can also do... We're kind of like that one. Oh yeah, Titan. Yeah, okay, we'll do Titan. So, and it won't let us change the colors. So we're gonna have to keep it white, but that's okay. We can do, now we can add the water. Turn off habitable. And do, material and then add the water on the surface here that all missed why is it I swear this object is so bugged dude okay let's do yeah water oh it did work we got some water on it but it's like spawning over in where I'm not even shooting it. Um, so... Okay, let's turn the spread down to zero and see if that helps. Why can I not do this right? 
Okay, what if we shoot an asteroid full of water into it instead, like we have on the other videos? See if this works. Nice. Big enough. Okay, well that completely missed. Come here. You are not done. Okay, that went into it. So let's turn on flashlight view and then we'll be able to see the impact there. So that did work. That worked. So let's do another one right here. Go to here, make it water. Let's make it pretty big in size. Okay, here it comes. We got a giant ocean dropping on the surface here. See that hit? Boom, add some more water. Perfect. And then add, or what we can do, cause there's like a big chunk of water here. We can go into, I think it's in surface. We can, yeah, settle water. So this'll, make the water and spread it across the whole surface. So that actually looks like a good amount. Then if we go and turn on vegetation, we can get some of this. Here we go. Uh, terraform Uranus. That will be in the terraforming series. Um, the reason I'm doing sun on live is because I can't add the sun to the system that we've already done on it because it wouldn't, it wouldn't work right. Okay, so here we go. This is actually looking pretty good. Let's check habitability. Uh, not here. Here. Got 25% chance of life, and it is all iron and water. It looks like. Um, let's change the interface color. Something more blue. Wow, this looks pretty good. Now we have a terraformed sun, so let's save the sun. Let's name it terraformed sun, and then let's redo a system where it doesn't have all these extra water particles and such. So sun in the middle with terraformed sun. Right here, put about one AU away. And we, there we go, we did it. We have a terraformed sun. That took a long time. Um, I am going to save this system and upload it to the workshop. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can. So let's save and share. Terraformed sun. Okay. Oh, not update. Save and share. And then I'll paste the link to this in chat so you guys can use it too. Uh, let's get the link. Let's see. I just did this. Uh, share. It's a link. Copy this. And boom, now it's in chat. You guys probably got it a little bit earlier because of the stream delay. But now we have the system here with the terraformed sun. So that's gonna be it for this stream. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. And I plan to do some more of those, uh, the terraforming videos in the series. So I think I'm going to do Venus next and then maybe Jupiter, which 
will be interesting. So thank you guys so much for coming. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.